Hey guys, it's Shredder Tech, and I'm back finally. I'm making another video. Um, sorry, I haven't been making too many videos. Uh, it's been a very busy time in my life. Um, a lot of things going on, which you guys will find out about later, I'm sure. So um, I decided to make a uh, desk tour, like a bit of a room setup. Since a lot has changed since I've got married, I'm still in the same room. Hopefully, not for too much longer. But I thought I'll show you guys what I'm rocking at the moment and yeah so here we go <laughs> alright guys so um, I decided to do this a bit more of a vlogging style video since I am holding the camera and just gonna show you guys around the room and hopefully it's not too shaky hopefully I stay in focus and the things I'm gonna show you guys stay in focus and yeah so let's let's start so um, it's not my ideal setup, but since we got married, I am still living with my parents, and so my wife also moved in here. That's because we are building a house which is not built yet, so it's taken a bit longer than expected, but hopefully it will be built soon. Um, so yeah, this is where um, my wife and I hang out, if, and other friends and whatnot come over. So we have a TV entertainment setup sort of thing, and then obviously my computers. Or computer, I should say. Um, the floor is really squeaky, so every time I take a step, it's really annoying, but nothing I can do about that. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, I'll start over here, tell you guys what we have. It's nothing too exciting. Um, it's a Sony Bravia 40 inch TV. And then we have a Yamaha amplifier. Um, got the printer there, got the center speaker there. Uh, Apple TV. Right. <laughs> there, you can see my reflection. Hello. Um, yeah, so the Yamaha um, receiver is just for audio. It doesn't have HDMI pass through or anything. It's a bit old. And so we have a fetch TV thing there. So cable TV. Don't use it at the moment. Got an Xbox 360. Also don't use it. So the speakers that are connected, so we have the center speaker obviously, we have one speaker there, and that's, that's the left channel, and then the right channel, and then the subwoofer, and then behind we have, so that would be uh, right hand surround, and then we have the left channel surround behind here. So once again, it's not ideal, but it's working out pretty well. And then, so we have a HP OfficeJet 5740. That's the printer we use. It is a wireless printer. So it's always on. Whenever I need to print something, I just send it through and it does a pretty good job. It holds quite a lot of paper. Currently running a bit empty. But yeah, good printer. Fast printing. And yeah, so this is the remote. Some Logitech remote. Uh, Harmony 650 so it controls multiple devices and back when my room was set up a bit more properly it um, did quite a few things so now I just use it for the Apple TV and yeah over on the sub here we have a iPhone well a lightning connector dock so it just charges any Apple device um, it's a Balkan one doesn't want to focus I do not know the part number. I'll find it. I'll put it in the description. So yeah, the sub is the Yamaha sub. It's not working too well at the moment, but still get a little bit of bass from it. So yeah, and that takes care of the TV entertainment unit thing. So let's move on. Um, so this is my desk. I'll pull my chair up so I can have a seat. Um, my computer which if you guys have seen my previous videos you guys know how much I love it and how much time I've spent modifying and just making it look pretty I guess so also before I forget we have um, on my desk we have these Yamaha speakers one there one there they also hook up to the amp so my computer is also hooked up to the amp and depending on which channel I put the amp depends on whether or not they come out of these speakers or not so yeah on my desk, we have my double monitor setup. 
So when you sit in front of it, it looks pretty cool, especially if you have a wallpaper that sort of spreads over both of them. And yeah, so let's start the side. We have, as I mentioned, the speaker, and then also the Audio Technica headphones. These are the, I forgot what they were called, even though I reviewed them, I think like PG ones or something. Oh, there we go, ADH PG1, if it focuses. Yep. So, these are more for gaming. They do have a mic that you connect to them, so good for gaming. And yeah, they're pretty good sound, but um, I received, oh, I'll show you guys in a sec, stuff that. Um, I received these um, as a gift. These are the much hated, much loved Beats by Dre. These are the studios, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where it says it. Well, there's something. Beats Pro, I think. So, yeah, these, um, oh yeah, there they are. Beats Pro. See if it focuses. Oh, close enough. So, a lot of people hate them, a lot of people love them. I personally like them because I do like a lot of bass, which these do deliver a lot of bass. So if you prefer less bass, then yeah, definitely don't buy these. But for for the money, they're probably a bit overpriced, but I still like them. Back there, we have two lenses. Oh, actually, just one lens. This is the Sigma Sigma lens. It is a. Let's see. If it focus. Come on. I normally never have trouble focusing this camera, so I don't know what's going on. But this is a 30mm lens. This is for the Sony A6000, which is what I'm using to film right now. Um, the lens I have on the camera at the moment is the the kit lens, so to speak. So it is the 15, the 16 to 50 lens. And yeah, so back to the monitors. Yeah, so we have the two AOC monitors. I'll have the, the model number in the description below. They are both 27 inch monitors, um, IPS screens, and yeah, they look really nice in my opinion. Um, I would like, when I move to my new house, I'd like to um, get a triple monitor set up side by side. And yeah, so please subscribe, stay tuned, because when I upgrade my setup, when I move out, it will be awesome. It'll be a lot more in depth, and yeah, so we have some LEDs running behind the desk, which seems to be the, the normal thing to do these days. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this top screen sits on a Sony Sub. It just happened to be a good hide for it, so I thought, you know what, I'll put it on there. It looks all right, it does, you know, doesn't bother me too much. And I get a little bit of an extra bass while listening to some music, so yeah. Uh, what do we have here? So here we have a Western Digital Elements 2 terabyte portable hard drive. It's currently not plugged in. It's sort of just more like a backup drive and taking photos and things to families and yeah. So moving on to my keyboard. This is my Ducky Shine 3. It is a 10 keyless. So as you guys would have seen in previous videos, I was uh, using a, a Logitech K11. K811, sorry, but it just wouldn't work with my Windows side because I do dual boot this. This is a Hackintosh, so I, I can choose between booting into Windows or Mac. And yeah, it was just giving me too much issue, so I was like, you know what, let's find a keyboard that works perfect with both. And so I went with this one, and in my opinion, I love it. It looks really good. It is built like a rock. You can knock someone out with this thing, and it matches my color scheme really well. Moving on, we have this bad boy, the Logitech MX Master. So if you guys are into technology, I'm sure you would have all heard about this mouse and seen reviews on it. It is absolutely amazing, works with both my operating systems, it's got fancy buttons you can click and so yeah, I just love it. It works awesome. Moving on, we have my um, Apple trackpad. Now it doesn't look like your average trackpad because I carbon fiber wrapped it just to, well actually just to cover up a crack that goes through the whole thing because my brother decided to sit on it. 
and so he cracked it and I was like, well, still works, so might as well just cover up the crack. And that's what I did. And yeah, so now moving on to this beast. Or well, well, beast in my opinion anyway. This is the Fractal Design R5 case. And yeah, inside we have, what do we have? We got the i5 behind that carbon fiber wrapped water block. We have the i5 40, 4690. It's not the K because I wasn't planning on overclocking it. Now I do regret not getting it, but anyway. We have a GTX 780 Ti. It's the ASUS Direct CU cooler on it. We have a power supply shroud I've made with some LEDs behind there, some LEDs up there. And those LEDs can be changed to whatever color I want. I'll show you guys the remote. I've made a video on it, so feel free to go check it out. But this is the remote. It is by Deep Cool. So just open my case, point at it, change the light. Very simple. Um, I think I've covered most things. I try to do an okay job with cable management. Um, there's really nothing else I can show you guys. Like the rest is just rubbish and clothing and stuff. So this is a bit of a pan. So futon, it's quite nice. Got a light outside. Um, and yeah, this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I probably talked a little bit too fast, but you know, what can you do? So, um, sorry I haven't been making a lot of videos. Um, I will be making some more now. I do have some time off. So yeah, please subscribe, please like it so it can be found in the YouTube search and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.